Hey folks, hope you're all doing well today. It's December 8th in uh, 2010. And I didn't want today to go by without at least mentioning uh, John Lennon. It's the anniversary of his death. It's 30, 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Seems like a heartbeat to me. Seems like yesterday. Instead of telling you what I think of John Lennon or the Beatles or anything else, I think I'll go into one little thing that he said uh, that had a profound influence on me when I was growing up. He said this in 1966 when I was just 13 years old, just opening my eyes to the world, almost coming through a cloud of not only, not only this, but coming through a, a fog of Christianity and seeing for myself what the world really means and what the world really is for me. So, in 1966, the beginning of the year, hold on a second, let me, in an interview in England, uh, uh, basically for a, a TV show about the lives of the Beatles, how a Beatle lives, almost like my crib on MTV now, uh, Maureen Clave, who was the, the uh, interviewer, friend of John Lennon's, was around his house, and he said, and and she had noticed that Lennon uh, was reading a lot about religions at that time. Young man finding out his place in life, I'm sure at the time. So Lennon, quoting Lennon, Christianity will go, it will vanish, and it will shrink. I didn't argue about that. I'm right and I'll be proven right. We're more popular than Jesus now. I don't know which will go first, rock and roll or Christianity. Jesus was all right, but his disciples were thick and ordinary. It's them twisting it that ruins it for me. Yeah, I read that now. I love it. I absolutely love it. And yet, the only thing that I heard about at the time was, of course, the quote, uh, we're more popular than Jesus. That's what came in all the American newspapers. That's what was picked up on. That's why uh, some of you, I was going to say many of you will remember. I shouldn't even say some of you will remember. Maybe a few of you remember in 1966, right before they were starting to tour in the United States, a big tour, what turned out to be their last tour because of this, um, there were, you know, Burn Beetle parties, Burn Beetle records parties, and I mean, it was just anything Beatles was bad, and it was just really, it was unbelievable. For me, it wasn't, though. I didn't I, w I actually listened to even just those few words, we're more popular than Jesus now. And the fact of the matter is, he was right. And so when they started their tour, there's a, there's a lot of bad stuff going on. And he um, did an interview. Um, where was it? Uh, it? It was in... Chicago, and it's uh, right after the their tour started in August of uh, 1966, and Lennon was basically asked about it, and was he going to apologize? And he says, "I have nothing to." Uh, uh, this is a long, long quote, but he he basically said, "I have nothing to apologize for. I was speaking." basically the facts. 
that the Beatles are more popular to kids than Jesus Christ. And the fact of the matter is, he was. And when I saw this at the time, I remember, here's, here he is. Now, I'm at a very impressionable age at the time. Here's, here's a guy that is not coming out and saying what he's being told to say. He's actually like, he's coming out and he's he's telling it like it is. And he's saying the truth and it doesn't matter that he'll lose money. It doesn't matter that he'll lose fame. He's he's speaking the truth. Uh, I mean, in this in this quote, it's like he wasn't an anti-religious thing. He wasn't speaking anti-religiously. Um, he said, "We were, I wasn't comparing us with Jesus Christ or as a person or God as a thing or whatever it is. I just said what I said, and it was taken wrong. And now there's all this. Um, what also was happening on this tour were, it was getting picketed heavily, especially from Christian right organizations, fundamentalist Christians. And I, it may have been one of the last concerts that they did, but the Ku Klux Klan did a huge, huge picketing outside of the concert. And uh, many of you may not remember or may not even know that at, the t at that time, in 1966, the Ku Klux Klan was a multi-million member uh, organization uh, that, that had a lot of clout in the American politics and in the American public. And um, they weren't some, just some fringe organization like they are today. They, they wield, wielded some power. But what I also think was uh, kind of interesting here, let me reset my clock a little bit. I don't want to go too long, which I always do. You know, when asked, uh, let's see, in, a, in an article, when was it? Oh, in 1978. Now, this is 12 years after that, that whole thing. Uh, I all, here's Lennon quoted, 1978, I always remember to thank Jesus for the end of my touring days. If I hadn't said that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus and upset the very Christian, the very Christian Ku Klux Klan, well, Lord, I might still be up there with all the other performing fleas. God bless America. Thank you, Jesus. I love that. I absolutely love it. But it was that uh, tour in 1966, and because of the Fuhrer, and because the Beatles thought that they were being targeted, uh, especially at one concert, and it was that concert with the um, with the Ku Klux Klan incidents, uh, that they stopped touring forever. That stop that was one of the deciding factors, uh, among others, that stopped the Beatles from touring forever. Well, 30 years ago today, John Lennon was uh, taken down by Mark Chapman, and uh, the world is not a better place for it. It's a, it's a worse place for John Lennon's death. I'll talk to you guys later.